Welcome back to the MX5 5 cylinder build. Today we're installing the fuel pressure regulator and getting the fuel system ready for this car. We've got a bunch of AN lines and if you've been watching this build since the Instagram reels, uh, not the, just the YouTube videos, you would have seen that I welded on AN6 bunks onto the stock fuel rail and we've already got 550cc injectors in there uh, and we're today we're using a bunch of speeding AN fittings combined to make this fuel system ready and make it looking neat and tidy and also reliable. We're gonna be making that so the fuel pressure regulator is right there and also routing the fuel lines so they come from underneath. It's gonna be a return system. The pump is feeding fuel up to the fuel rail then returning it all the way to the fuel pressure regulator where we're also sensing the uh, pressure and then returning the leftover fuel that's not needed to pressurize, pressurize the system back to the fuel tank. This has some advantages, uh, self-bleeding and it cool, cools the, or at least it gets the temperature of the fuel more consistent. And we're also using a adjustable QSP fuel pressure regulator, which has a vacuum line. So it uh, raises the pressure once you get into boost, which we need for a boosted application. So let's get started. Uh, let's make some fuel lines. So <laughs> this is what we're working with for the fueling. My friends have been hard at work uh, removing all of the stock lines that went to the co-driver side and we're gonna be moving it uh, through this shelf down to there, there is a little hole. This way we can move the whole fuel line system uh, to the driver's side of the car. Uh, so we, have, we don't have to cross from the left to the right side and uh, go past a hot exhaust and a, uh, the drive shaft. So this is a way better uh, way of making it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna use some piece of rubber, which I'll show you right now. We've got these uh, blanking plugs and we're gonna drill to the size that they need. And then we can just uh, drill a little hole into the rubber so we can make the fuel line, this, this fuel line, make it uh, pass so it's uh, neat, neatly in there. And the cab is still isolated from uh, the fuel. So here's the modified pieces of rubber. These have a uh, ridge in them, so you can put them in a hole. These are for 20 millimeters. And um, there's actually already a hole which Thijs found, uh, which suits the piece of rubber perfectly. And we have to just drill two more, three more holes. And we should be able to get the fuel lines outside of the car with uh, all the pieces of rubber, which is perfect. So it doesn't uh, chafe the line and keeps the cab isolated from where the fuel lines go. <laughs> That's like dick. Yeah. Perfect. 
So time for an explanation. Uh, normally the engine is actually mirrored. So what's uh, currently the intake side used to be the exhaust side. So that's why I'm moving all of the fuel lines to one side of the car.
after some welding, this is it. Going all the way through, uh, but there, of course, there's uh, some weld on both sides that I'll clean up. I'll use a drill, which uh, should get rid of a bunch of stuff on the outside, and I'll probably grind it a bit for so the fuel lines don't catch on the edges and don't get damaged. So we're moving all of the fuel lines to the driver's side of the car. This is a left-hand drive, of course. And um, you just saw uh, us make the lines to go down to the driver's side so it doesn't go to the other side, to the driver's side, then go down. And in the meantime, we've also fitted the original filter again. We use some uh, rift nuts to mount it uh, right here. Normally there's a um, plastic panel that goes over all of this, so this is covered. Even the fuel lines and the mounts. So we've tucked this up, needs a little bit more. But for now we've tucked it up, so it doesn't come near anything and it doesn't, um, it isn't covered normally. And after that you saw me install uh, these hard lines. These are aluminum 8 millimeter outside diameter hard lines. And they, uh, I put a little barb on there with the welder, and this is all hard mounted now. These little brackets are actually from the other side. They used to have a little bit of plastic in there, with uh, some clips that held on the original uh, fuel lines. Uh, so we moved those over, and I removed the little clip and added some holes for some uh, cable ties, but I actually ran out. So need to get some more for the last one right there. And same at the front.
those both come out uh, right here for where we uh, made the little pipes in the frame rail and that comes out the other side and it tucks up it tucks up just behind the subframe and that's where the lines go the, re the feed will go in here and it will uh, pressurize the whole fuel rail and return to the regulator which manages the pressure and all of the excess fuel will be put to the return on the bottom and that will go down as well. So there's the fuel line. I'm actually missing a one fitting, which is a unfortunate, but uh, I'm missing one fitting for uh, the other pipe to go to. Uh, so uh, that's it for this week, because uh, I want to get this video out by Saturday. I hope you enjoy guys enjoyed, and if you want, you can subscribe for to follow the build or find me on Instagram or TikTok. <laughs>